Hey guys, how's it going? It's time for another mail time video. We have quite a haul today. I mean, you guys are so generous with us. I can't even, like, I have stacks and stacks of things to open today. And the first of which already has been open because it came to us from somebody, I think, who lives in Boise in this bag. And Benjamin was so enamored with this bag that we had to open it up so he could have the bag. <laughs> anyway, this is what was in it. Look at this quilt. So this quilt is just full of different fun, bright patterns. And one of the corners says, it's called an I Spy Quilt for Benjamin. Love watching you grow from Georgette Hanna. So, so sweet. And the first thing I did is I um, took, when he took this out of the bag, I put it out on the great room floor and he just went over and laid on it and he just looked at all the squares. And he was pointing out the kikitis and the flowers and all that sort of thing. So anyway, thank you very much for this. Nothing like just jumping right in, right? It's actually in the high 90s today. So this is a perfect video to do in this room. It's a little bit more mild. I've got a fan on over me. So this little quilted postcard came to us from Deborah in Australia. And it was just a little note saying that that she enjoys our videos, that they're inspiring and just to keep it up. And I just think that is the sweetest thing. I love it. Thanks, Deborah. Uh, this one is from Sorcery Soap in Arizona. Ooh. Okay, I'm always saying I'm gonna be more organized about all the packing materials. You guys should see this room when I'm done with the mail time. It's nuts. Oh, sorcerysoap.com. Oh, so sweet. These are all handmade, cold processed soaps. Oh, and she said that she wanted to send soaps for both my mom and I for our, uh, our hands. And then she said she knew that like a lot of these were inspired by our garden, you know, with herbs and things like that. And then when she saw my mom and I harvesting lavender the other day, she was like, it's meant to be. Oh, this one's bergamot and honey. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Ooh, that smells good. Mm. This one is, these are awesome. Like there's some big bars in here, but there's also these little ones. This is Love and Sunshine. That is a really good name for that soap. Nocturnal. Well, that's a good smell. Summer flowers. Look at the tops of them. Look how cute that is. I don't think I showed you the lavender top. Savage Garden. That is cute. The little corn, eggplant, strawberries, and a carrot. And last but not least is spring rain. Oh, wait a minute. That's not Savage Garden. That's the type of soap it is. Spring. These are both spring rain. Yeah, they both have the veggies on the top. Thank you for sending these out. This is from P. Martinez in Washington. Benjamin's gonna like to see those. How fun. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty card from Pollyann. This must be to Benjamin, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it says his name on there. She says, hope you like your little gift. My boy is now 26 and 23, used to like taking these in the car on longer trips. Oh, yep. You nailed it. Oh, and these. Thank you, Pollyann. Hey, next is from, I don't know if that's a P or an R, Bryant in Ohio. It says something about it being a sweet treat, which is always welcome around here, especially right now. From a company, um, looks like Sugar Ray Sweet Creations, in respect to pollinators. Oh, it smells like sugar. Yum, I don't want to tip it too far. I don't want them to fall, well, I don't think they'll fall out. Look at those cookies. How cute. Thank you so much. These are really cute looking. Mm. From Helen Linda in Washington, Yakima. My sister lives in Yakima, Washington. Hopefully for not much longer. I hope she moves back soon. From Linda, she made these bracelets. Whoa. Whoa. 
Look at that beading. That's intense. That is really neat. Thank you, Linda. She said they hope they fit my wrist and they do. Ooh, lucky. Oh yeah, look at that. Fits perfectly. Love it. Okay, and then this one, which I'm guessing it's a book, is from Wonderbly. So it, this doesn't say who it's from, unless it's from the company Wonderbly, maybe. Maybe there's a card in here. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a boy called Benjamin who climbed a magical beanstalk, but just what did he find at the top? Oh my gosh. Please let there be a note. This is amazing. Oh, it is. Oh, dearest Benjamin, one day when you get older, you will see that this is a story about you and your mama and daddy. The love they pour into your garden and how they share it with the world brings such joy and happiness. I wish you a lifetime of exciting adventures, fabulous friendships, and an abundance of blessings. And may all your wishes come true. Sincerely, Canon and Remington's Nani. That is so sweet. Oh my goodness, we need to do like story time. Oh. This is amazing. Thank you so much. And I do think I saw an email come through from you this week just explaining who you were <laughs> and that this was coming. I, I like it dawned on me now. So thank you so very much for sending this out. This is an amazing gift. All right, next one. Is from Sonia Price from Price Pecan Farm. Should we take bets as to what this is? Shelled pecans. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is from Megan and the Price Pecan Farm are her parents. Um, so she sent them from her parents' pecan farm. Love it, thank you so much. Alrighty. Next box is from Michelle in California. I think it might be some sort of soap or lotion or candle, something like that. Let's see if I'm even remotely close to being right. Oh, yep. So Michelle is the owner of One Blessed Acre Farm. Look at this, a goodie box to the max. So we've got shave soap, Fresh lavender goat milk bar soap. Oh. Goat milk tub tea, fresh lavender. Fresh lavender creamy goat milk hand lotion. Milk and honey lip balm. And lavender anise goat milk hand soap. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, no, it's this. this. But this right here, this is like the big smeller of the bunch. Smells yum. Mm. From Angela in Eugene. Woo! Angela in Eugene, Oregon. To Laura and family. Oh, that is gorgeous. I have become braver to grow things I've never heard of. Love to hear that. I've learned how to enhance soil and when to prune or not to prune. Oh, Angela, that's so sweet. A blank note card that's gorgeous. Oh, a rainbow twirler. Cool. So that, let's, let's take it out. We gotta see. I've never seen one of these before. <gasps> Ooh. How does this work? Cool. Oh, you know who's gonna like playing with that? Benjamin. Classic caramel. Love these with coffee. These are something that I buy on the regular. I love it. <laughs> you know me. Milk chocolate truffle bar. Yum. Ooh, and some corn seeds from Siskiyou Seeds. These are Festivity Sweet Corn. 85 day rainbow colored multi-stocked OP sweet corn. Often yields three to four ears per plant. Most cobs have a blend of white, yellow, red, and purple kernels. Really cool. Thank you so much, Angela. Oh, what a sweet gift box. 
All right, I'm confused by this box a little bit. I don't know if this is from Amanda at Plantarina. She sent some things out before, but the uh, return address is, says it's sent from a gal named Eve. So I will find out when I get into the box. And Eve lives in New York. Oh yeah, not Plantarina. Plantarina is houseplant, house channel, uh, houseplant YouTube channel, and she also sells houseplants. But this, so Eve must have uh, bought something from Plantarina. Be interested to see a pic picture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this, you guys, let me get it out of its packaging. Oh, we were supposed to meet at the Boston Flower Show before COVID happened. Dang it. She made a doll of me, you guys. Look at this, like complete with pearl earrings, my Garden Answer logo t shirt, and my vans and jeans with ripped knees. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. Eve, you outdid yourself. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Oh, these mail times are just so much fun, you guys. This, the things that you think to either make or send, it's just, it's so much fun. And like I get double fun because after I'm done with mail time, then I take everything inside and I get to show Aaron and then I show my mom usually and it just, it's, it's, I love it. Okay, next one is from Always Be In Blossom in Iowa. It's cute packaging. Oh, that's a cute card, look at that. From Kimberly. She creates jewelry with pressed flowers. I wonder what it is. So Kimberly said that she and her sister are huge fans and I'm going to shout out her sister, Sally Brooks's Instagram. It's at Sally Brooks 24. Thank you, Sally, for following what we do. And thank you, Kimberly, so much for sending this out. I can't even wait to see what it is. Anything with pressed flowers, right? I'm a huge fan of that. Okay, that is gorgeous. <gasps> Look, Queen Anne's lace. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I've, I've actually looked at some of these on Etsy recently, and I haven't pulled the trigger on any of them. So this is exciting. I'm getting all jeweled out this time. I wonder if I looked at your account. It's quite possible. I can't remember all the names I looked at, but alwaysbeinblossom.etsy.com. Thank you, Kimberly, for Laura, from an independent artist in New York from Rebecca McLaughlin, maybe? Oh my gosh. You guys, this is insane. All of the thoughtful things that you're sending out. Oh, this couldn't be more perfect for Benjamin. I mean, honestly. Strawberries are the name of his game. So there wasn't a note inside, so I'm assuming that this was sent by Rebecca or from Rebecca. Thank you so much. Uh, next is from Kelly in New Jersey. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's pretty. This is for Erin. So when she started watching our videos, her husband started helping her out more and more in the garden and she was looking for some Atlas gloves for him too because she loves hers. And she ended up finding some and noticed Erin doesn't have any. So she sent, she sent some out for Erin. That is wonderful. Thank you, Kelly. He's gonna love it. Okay, and then this one is from the Win uh, Winegers or Winegers in Wisconsin. Shelly said she thought she would send some things out for Benjamin. <laughs> you guys, we all have similar minds. We're all thinking along the same lines. This is awesome. Oh, that is so cute. Another strawberry shirt and Oh, this is perfect. We've got a loader, hoodie, sweatshirt, zip up. And this is, looks to be like it's gonna be exactly the right size when he needs it this fall. That is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. Benjamin's making out like a bandit today. This is addressed to young Benjamin. Got a couple new books. This is from Roberta. The Big Hungry Bear and Hello, Maine. And she was wondering if Benjamin already had these books, but he does not. So this is great. Thank you. From Sherry in North Dakota. 
Isn't it crazy all the different states we're in and how much like the internet can connect us. It's just absolutely amazing. It's from, I would have read it Sherry, but she said her first name sounds like Sorry. Is that right? Anyway, she said her husband is a bobcat engineer. So they wanted to show some orange and black love to us green and yellow folks. <laughs> So she said her husband and son enjoy putting these together. So Aaron and Benjamin will enjoy it as well. Thank you for thinking of us and for sharing uh, part of your journey. It's amazing. This is from S. Woods in Texas. Hello, Susan at Etsy.com. She thought I might like to jot down some of my thoughts and plans. Uh, it's a journal kit called Vintage B. Oh my, look at this. So the pages are meant to be folded in half, but she said you can use them however you want. I mean, there's just a bunch, you guys, a bunch of beautiful pictures here. That's always inspiring, isn't it? Like right from the gate, when you have something beautiful to write things down on, and it looks like many of them are lined. B-bands and journal cards. Really pretty. Okay, now what's in the little one? This is like romancing the ordinary to the max right here. Oh, look how pretty that is. Look at how beautiful. Susan, you have a gift. So right here, this one is, a, these look like they're all bookmarks, I'm guessing. Um, they're all on paper clips, so they come off. And then like you can paper clip, let's say it's your book page, you can paper clip where you're at like that. Am I getting that right? That's how I would use them. What a pretty bookmark. Gorgeous. Thank you, Susan. Okay, this is from Amazon. <laughs> Since you have a tendency to paint yourself up, I thought this might come in handy. Much love, Sean. That will definitely be a nice assistant <laughs> when I'm spray painting so I don't get it all over my fingers. Thank you. Oh, these are wood airplanes. Some ha uh, hair planes. He calls them hair planes. Some hair planes for Benjamin. Have fun from Scott in Michigan Zone 6. That is the sweetest thing. Thank you, Scott. He will enjoy these hair planes immensely. From Mary in Illinois. Okay. My mother sold world book encyclopedias and child craft sets when I was growing up. I recently came across an extra volume of poems of early childhood that was always a favorite of mine. She immediately thought of Benjamin. Won't that be sweet to frame and put up in his room? I love that. Thank you, Mary. Okay, let's open up this odd shaped box. This is from Laura in Michigan. It also showed up like this, so I hope that doesn't affect what's in there. Whoa! That is a cute doll. <laughs> she said, I, um, during the cold winter months here in Michigan, I sew dolls. It's been fun making the garden girl doll for you. Hang her wherever if she doesn't scare Benjamin, LOL. <laughs> I love it. I don't think she'll scare Benjamin. So there's a little um, like hanger on the back. Isn't she cute? Oh, she's got long legs. So they're legs. I can't get her the whole thing in the frame here. She's got a carrot for her nose. Isn't that cute? Little seed packets in her pockets. And her skirt says the garden is my home. Super cute, thank you. This one is labeled to Benjamin in care of Laura. This bubble machine is for Benjamin. Hold on, I'll, let me get it out. It's a bubble machine. Cat's out of the bag. Cute. He's gonna love that. He loves playing with bubbles. Uh, my boys Logan 7 and Luke 3 love their bubble machine and I thought Benjamin might enjoy one also. This is from Crystal in North Carolina. Thank you. So this box is from Creative Waterworks in California. Oh my, 
so this is a fountain basin. Okay, so there's some rocks here. Oh, this will be fun, you guys. So this is from Mike Stewart, who owns the Creative Waterworks. And it's a fountain basin is unique because it allows easy access to the pump and the water flow control is on the top. Anyway, so it looks like it's a, I'm not sure exactly how it all comes together. Um, let's see. Except it looks like all the parts are here. Oh, there's more rocks. Cool. So I'll probably set this up at some point so you guys can see what it looks like when it's running. And I like that it's like compact. That's really nice. Thanks, Mike, for sending this out. From Petunia Farms in Liverpool, New York. Oh, smells like maybe soap or lotion or candles. Joanne from PetuniaFarms.com. Oh, this is to my dad. I'm going to look. It says to Mike. Oh, it's a soap. I'm going to look, even though it's to my dad. He won't mind. Oh, yeah. Crisp bamboo. Oh, I love this. This is so sweet of you to think of my dad. And I see one to Aaron. And there's more things in here. We'll go through all of it. One to Aaron. Citrus and cilantro. Sweet pea soap balls. This is to me. Cool. It has a little bath poof on the top and soap balls on the bottom. This is to Benjamin. Strawberry soap balls. Mm-hmm. Bath poof. Soap balls. And to my mom. Assorted soap balls. I smell almond. Is that one of them? That smells good. Whoa. The Gardener's Bars Floral Set. Whoa. Okay, look at this box. There are six soaps in here. Uh, rice flour and shea. Oh, yummy. That smells good. Gardenia. Mm-hmm. Smells very gardenia. Hibiscus Beauty. Fresh cut roses. Mm-hmm. Lilac flowers. Mm, yeah, it smells good. And oatmeal milk honey. Mm, oatmeal milk and honey. Oh, which one is my favorite? Probably the rice flour or the oatmeal milk and honey. They're all really neat. Thank you so much for sending all of this stuff out. How thoughtful. I include my parents in that. From Margie Hutchins in Dallas, Oregon. Oh. From Margie, these books are for Benjamin and they were written by Margie's daughter. Dudley's Big Day and Bidichon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The Lonely Sloth. How fun. Thank you, Margie. This is from KT Naturals in West Plains, Missouri. We've got another scented gift here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is, these are bath bombs, wild elderberry and succulent garden. Mm. Whoa, that's a nostalgic smell for me. What do I remember that? That throws me back to middle school, I think. What is that smell? Succulent garden. It smells good. From Tyler. These are all handmade from Tyler's shop which is KT Naturals, ktsoaps.com. So we've got the bath, these are called bath truffle, truffles, not bath bombs. Oh, lemon cake soy candle, yum. Oh, yum. And coconut coast cocoa soy candle. Oh, you probably want to see this, <laughs> not the candle. Candle looks like a candle, there's the label. And, Foaming Sugar Scrub Blueberry Cobbler. Foaming Sugar Scrub Morning Espresso. Handcrafted Soaps, Stormy Waters. Sweet Pea and Sugar. Ooh, Calendula and Lemongrass. Mm, that's my favorite one. And Tyler said, um, I made a discount code Garden Answer for 15% off if any of you guys are interested in any of this. So there's the info. Thank you, Tyler. What a box full of yum right there. 
Should we do the big one? This is from Peloton, Mike Jones Peloton Inc. Just gonna open it right here a little easier, baby. Uh-oh. I just knocked a bunch of stuff off the windowsill. Shoot. Whew. Toss the box. A grow fern. Self-watering hanging planter. Simple setup, less watering, reusable. I'm all about that. Oh, there's three of them in here, it looks like. Hold on. Well, I see, well, maybe there's four floats here. There's two, one, two, gotcha. Okay, now, where's the instructions? Here's the chains. Here's the, I'm guessing the, the water wicking system, yeah. Okay, so, I think this goes in here. And then this just goes down in, right? There's no other part. So then your float goes down in there like that. Oh, I like the little um, colors too. Like red means you need to fill it. Full green right there means it's full. Am I putting that in there right? Yeah, seems right to me. So you set them up like that, put the chains in, or on rather, and you're good to go. Interesting. And then in the same box there was, this is a grow bucket. Kind of the same idea. Let's see, grow anything, reusable, simple setup, indoor and outdoor. Convert standard bucket into a portable self-watering container garden. So like a five gallon size bucket. Right there. Cool. Thanks Mike for sending these out. This will be interesting to try out. I have tried out lots of self-watering containers so I feel like I'm a pretty good judge at this point. This is Tua from Jay Rice in Maine. Judith Rice. Judith, did you send me an apron at one point? Was that you, the egg apron? It's been a while now, but the, your name, it seems very familiar <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, a car for Benjamin. Also, oh look how fun, an apron. Very colorful, full of bugs, I love that. Wow, oh look at that apron. Cool. And, oh, look, let me throw that box. Look at this. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, look at that quilt. Isn't that cool? Americana, I love it. Judith, thank you so much. I wonder if I'm starting to shine yet. It's pretty warm up here right now. Like this, um, this sun porch is kind of in the shade, obviously, and there is a fan above me, but it's still like, it's not air conditioned and it's hot out today. From My Soil in Walla Walla, Washington. Oh, Brennan Ingram is the co-founder and COO. More soil test kits. Oh, a bunch, whoa. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, it's another mail-in type, how cool. All right. So when you open up your box, it looks like this right here. Important, uh, you need to register your kit. There is a return service envelope and then everything that you need with instructions on collecting soil samples from your garden and then sending them in. Wouldn't it be interesting, because we haven't used the other one that we got yet, wouldn't it be interesting to kind of pit them against each other and take soil samples from the same spot and see what, what they both come back at, if they both come back exactly the same? Or, uh, yeah, I think that would be really interesting, but there are four right here. How cool. Thanks, Brennan, for sending these out. These will be very handy. Laura, Aaron, and Benjamin. From Preeti, Preeti, Preeti? I love watching your channel in India. Oh. Oh boy, a couple of saucers it looks like. 
how cute. Cactus and succulent planters in the shape of elephants. So there's a small one. Cute. And a large one. Oh, pretty. Thank you so much. It's so cute. I love them. All right. And this is to Benjamin. The way you guys show love to Benjamin is just the sweetest thing. The day God made you. There is no note in here. Let there please be a note inside. No note, but super sweet. Whoever sent this, thank you. We're down to the last box, which I'm gonna leave right behind me because it's huge. It's from Plum and Post. This is a doormat. Oh, cool. From Emily. I thought this doormat would be a great replacement to make your cat stand out when they're not laying on it. <laughs> I mentioned it, I think it was in a video, Russell was laying near my doormat, um, but our doormat is like uh, tan colored and it has orange carrots on it because it was an Easter mat and I still have it out. Um, but so like when I catch that mat out of the corner of my eye and I see it, I always think one of the cats is waiting at the door for me to let him in. Um, so it gets me every time I walk over there and there's no cat sitting there. So excited to see what this one looks like. <laughs> well, it's definitely improvement but there's still an orange cat on it. <laughs> Hello there, I love it. Oh, here comes Russell. Hey Russell, kitty kitty. He's getting in one of the boxes out there. Hey Russell, kitty kitty kitty. What are you doing, bud? You like mail times, don't you, buddy? Thank you, Emily, this is super cute. And thank you to everybody who sent things out for today's mail time, what a fun, what a fun time, it always is. I just, I get so much encouragement from your guys' notes and hearing your journey and hearing how we've helped or impacted you in whatever way that it, we may have. It just makes it all worth it. Um, and there are days, like I'm not gonna lie, there are days when I'm tired and there are days when sometimes I don't wanna film um, a project. Some days I just wanna get it done. Um, but you know, usually I suck it up and I get the camera out and I film it anyway. It doesn't happen very often, but I think everybody experiences that to where you know some days you're just tired other especially right now i get tired a little bit more often and i've you know had the morning sickness for three months and it's still like tape it's tapering off but it's still kind of there um so to hear stuff like this is a complete lift for me and it makes me feel like i remember that when i'm outside and i'm feeling that way and feeling like it's really hot and i you know i'm feeling tired and then i remember like this might be impacting somebody's life in a positive way and that for me does it. So thank you for all the sweet notes and sharing personal details about your lives. Um, <clears throat> it's really amazing to get to know you guys like that. So anyway, I'm super excited to go show Benjamin all of his gifts and then start putting all of my things away where they go in the house. Thank you guys again. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Come here, baby. Oh, Come. yep. Come. Okay, you wanna sit with me? Okay. Look at that. No car, it's a car. car. Look, it's a road roller. No water. And a dump truck. And, dump truck. and somebody sent you some hairplanes. He even said hairplane in the, oh, really? the note, yeah. And a bubble machine, and you got some books, but I've got some of your other things are buried in the pile, baby. Oh, and eat it. Yeah, it's a bubble. It's a frog bubble. Bub bubble. bubble frog. Cool, huh? And then look, look at your new books. The books. What's that? The, a dump truck. A dump truck. Oh, Benjamin, you want to know something though? You got to show Daddy these. Look at this. <laughs> look at look at Benjamin. Somebody sent you the shirt. Strawberries. Strawberries and this shirt. <gasps> Two different people, Aaron. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? What is that? A sun. That's a strawberry. Dun, dun. Also, look what somebody else sent you. Look. Look at that. Look at that. That's a John Deere loader. Oh, wow. John Deere Aaron, this is what Eve sent me. Oh. <laughs> it's you. I know, even with pearl earrings and everything yeah. and holes in my knees. That's hilarious. I know. Yeah. You want to get down? He wants to go play with his cars. All right, Aaron, he want to, I have like a sea of boxes in front of me he can't get through.